Boris Johnson insists the high-speed rail link HS2 is crucial for the country, as he marked the official start of construction of the tracks for the project, costing more than £100 billion. Pounds. Now, the first phase would see a 140-mile line running from Euston in London to a new station at Curzon Street in Birmingham. Trains will carry more than 1,000 passengers and reach speeds of up to 250 miles an hour. The second phase would then run services north from Birmingham to Manchester and Leeds. The Prime Minister says 22,000 new jobs will be created, but critics warn more jobs will be lost overall and the harm to the environment will be catastrophic. Our business correspondent Katie Austin has all the details. The diggers are digging. Construction is now officially underway after years of preparatory work. This site near Solihull will become HS2's interchange station, part of a major transport hub for the West Midlands. Well, as you can see, we've only got um, four or five members of staff in. The boss of this accountancy firm a few miles away believes it will bring huge benefits. We'll see greater investment from overseas into this region. As a result of that great investment, we'll see more businesses growing in this region. As a result of that, there's more business out there for us to grow our business and to provide support to them. HS2 is currently Europe's largest infrastructure project and building it will be a mammoth task. The first phase alone between London and Birmingham is due to cost at least £35 billion. It's due to open by 2031. It will require 32 miles of new tunnels and 150 bridges. One million tonnes of steel will be needed. Opponents have long criticised the scheme for delays and spiralling costs. One independent estimate says the full project could cost more than £100 billion. The railway is going to come through here very high up. And Sheila, who lives near the village of Balsall Common, is one of those who have long opposed it for environmental reasons, such as the destruction of ancient woodland. I won't give up the fight. I do feel deeply depressed, but I intend to continue trying to get mitigation for all the disastrous effects of it. HS2 supporters say it will help with capacity on the rail network, boost connectivity and create jobs. The pandemic has now changed the world of work with a move towards more home working. So is a high speed railway line still needed? On a visit to the Solihull construction site today, the Prime Minister said it was. I've got absolutely no doubt uh, that mass transit, uh, transport infrastructure is going to be crucial for our country, not just now, but in the decades ahead. And this incredible project is going to be delivering 22,000 jobs. But campaigners argue nearly as many jobs will be displaced as created. No, we, we don't recognise that statement at all. This is about creating jobs uh, in the sector and in all the support sectors for something of this scale. The project remains controversial. Campaigners from Stop HS2 and Extinction Rebellion protested in London today. But also today, a reminder it is happening, with a renewed vote of confidence from the Prime Minister. Katie Austin, BBC News.